Hello everyone and welcome to Instant Biology by Dr. Neelab. The topic for today's lecture is immobilization of enzyme systems and uh, this lecture is second in the series of immobilization of enzyme systems. For your information, I have already posted one lecture on this topic. That was a preliminary lecture, basic lecture, basically giving details about what are the advantages of immobilization of enzymes and uh, what are the different features of immobilization of enzymes? In, in today's lecture, I would be dealing with the methods of immobilization. Primarily, I would be de dealing with one method that is entrapment. Okay? There are other methods as well. I would be dealing with the other method in the next uh, video. But in today's video, I would be dealing with entrapment as I have already said. So what is entrapment? Let us come directly to the point. Uh, in this uh, one, one uh, more information, in this uh, lecture, I would be giving you certain tricks in order to memorize a uh, very important portion that has been asked in different uh, life science examinations. So I would be giving you tricks. So watch this video till the end so that you can get the complete out uh, so that you can get the most out of this video. So uh, let us talk about entrapment. What does entrapment means? Entrapment means the physical enclosure of enzymes in a small space. Physical enclosure of enzymes. What does that mean? So suppose let me say that this is my enzyme. This uh, pen is my enzyme. I am enclosing it like this. Right. So I am enclosing it like this. So this is the physical enclosure. My fingers and my palm is the f uh, physical enclosure and I have enclosed this enzyme like this. What is the purpose of enclosure like this? The purpose is that this enzyme does not come out of the physical enclosure. What again that leads to? That leads to is to maintain the purification or to maintain the purity of the product and everything. If the enzyme comes out of this physical enclosure, what will happen? The enzyme will, uh, what do you say? It will pollute, it will contaminate the product and again your uh, product purification cost would increase that you would not want if you are a bioprocess engineer. right? So, so this is the physical enclosure of enzymes in a very small space. Entrapment can be of two types. What are the two types? The first is matrix entrapment and the second one is membrane entrapment. So if I talk about a matrix entrapment and membrane entrapment, what is the primary difference between both of these? So the, the, the primary difference is in case of matrix entrapment, the media or the method that is used for entrapment or you make use of a matrix in order to entrap the enzyme. Whereas in membrane entrapment, what you use is you use make use of a membrane in order to entrap the enzyme. This is the basic difference. That means you are just making use of different substances for the entrapment of the enzymes that makes that is the basic difference matrix entrapment and membrane entrapment. Let us move on to the to the next point uh, for uh, further discussion. So if you see that if I talk about the matrix entrapment, if you look at this matrix entrapment, then for matrix entrapment, there are different methods that you can, there are different substances that you can use for matrix entrapment. For example, uh, for matrix entrapment, you can use calcium alginate, agar, calcium alginate, just a minute. So for matrix entrapment, you can use calcium alginate, agar, carrageenan, polyacrylamide and collagen. Now remember, these are polymeric materials. What is a polymeric material? This originally is in the monomeric form, but you, when you mix it, polymers are formed, right? So matrix entrapment can be done through two different materials. One is polymeric materials and the other one is solid matrices. Polymeric materials polymerizes, whereas solid matrices do not polymerize. They are, they are, they have a particular shape. So in that entrapment happens and in polymeric materials polymerization happens and then in that entrapment happens. So in case of polymeric materials, what are the examples? What are the materials that you can use for matrix entrapment? One is calcium alginate, agar, carrageenan, polyacrylamide and collagen. So this is what is asked in the examinations that which one amongst the following is used in matrix entrapment. So you need to learn all these names. So I have made a trick. So with this trick, you would be able to learn this quite efficiently. You can use this trick. So the trick for learning the polymeric materials. So the trick, the trick says it is, in, it is in Hindi. You can use this uh, trick. I believe you would be able to understand this. Kal kar se college padne jayenge. Kal C-A-L kar C-A-R se college 
पढ़ने जाएंगे ओके सो कैल मीन्स कैल्शियम आर्जिनेट कार मीन्स अगेन कार कारजिन सी फॉर कॉलेज कॉलेज इज सिमिलर टू कोलाजन एंड पढ़ने पी फॉर पॉली एक्रेलामाइड ओके सो दिस वॉज द ट्रिक फॉर पॉली एक्रेलामाइड मटीरियल यू कैन इजली रिमेंबर दिस इफ यू वॉन्ट द ट्रिक फॉर सॉलिड मैट्रेसेस लेट एस टॉक अबाउट सॉलिड मैट्रेसेस फर्स्ट वॉट आर द मेथड वट आर द मटीरियल दैट यू कैन यूज फॉर सॉलिड मैट्रेसेस एक्टिवेटेड कार्बन पोरस सिरेमिक्स then diatomaceous earth activated carbon porous ceramics and diatomaceous earth what is the trick that you can uh, use over here activated diet may dekhiye this is activated diet may pulses and cereals okay so what is active over here this is activated carbon so with active you can remember activated carbon with diet d for diet d for diatomaceous earth okay active diet d for diatomaceous earth p for pulses and p for porous ceramics or you can use it uh, p for pulses and c for ceramics you can either uh, remember like this or with pulses only you can remember porous ceramics so this was the trick for solid matrices again so these were the tricks that you can do should, that you should remember now talking about the matrix entrapment uh, image now suppose this is the the one that i have highlighted this this these are the matrices this is the matrix and the e letter that i have shown over here this is representing enzymes so enzyme is entrapped in this into this matrix it cannot come out but this matrix has small small uh, holes or pores you can say through which the substrate can come in and the product can go out this is the concept of matrix entrapment let us move on to the next point and the next point is membrane entrapment as i said the concept is same just uh, that in in case uh, of uh, matrix entrapment you are using matrix in case of membrane entrapment you are using membrane so what are the examples that you need to remember membrane entrapment can utilize nylon membranes cellulose membrane polysulfone membranes and polyacrylate membranes so what is the uh, what is the uh, trick that you can use over here it is ncp square n means nylon nylon c for cellulose and p for polysulfone and polyacrylamide i am using p square over here that means polysulfone and polyacrylamide now remember that these membrane fibers are hollow in nature okay these membrane fibers are hollow so since they are hollow there is space inside that so enzyme can get get fitted over here and uh, because of these hollowness the enzyme because the pores are something like this so you can see that this this is a pore but this pore is small so the enzyme cannot come out over here from here enzyme cannot come out but the substrate can come in and the product can go out this can be done this is easy but the enzyme cannot go out because of the pore size okay now same same, same thing is written whatever i said this is written over here that semi permeable membrane is used to immobilize large molecular weight compounds you are immobilizing large molecular weight compounds so large molecular by large molecular weight compounds what are we referring to we are referring to the enzymes so what we are doing is we are immobilizing the enzymes but small molecular weight compounds like substrates and products they can move in and out okay now let us come to the next point that is micro encapsulation now micro encapsulation is a special form of it is a special form of membrane entrapment a special form why why we are saying special form because over here in within a small space let me just draw it again within a small space just like this a lot of enzyme is concentrated so the surface area of the enzyme is so much that the substrate can easily come and bind over here and can be converted into product so what does micro encapsulation uh, say basically the concept is that the the presence of hollow spheres is over here okay not pores there are hollow spheres and in this hollow spheres the enzyme is present now this enzyme is free to uh, interact with the substrates and produce products this is what is meant over here 
so over here also you can see this is the micro encapsulation uh, diagrammatic representation you can see that this is the sphere not exactly the sphere but the structure is like this and enzymes are present over here they are concentrated over here okay so next this type of membrane can be you can easily use a membrane that is polymeric in nature but the concept is you are using spheres hollow spheres over here okay now let us come to the disadvantages and the remedies of this entrapment method what are the disadvantages disadvantage the first disadvantage is enzyme leakage what does this mean if the pore size is not kept uh, correct then what can happen the enzyme can leak outside this will again produce a lot of problems and it will increase the cost of purification for you okay next is diffusional limitations what does this mean diffusional limitation means that the again the substrate is not able to come inside and interact with the with the enzyme and product cannot diffuse outside this is called as diffusional limitation next is reduced enzyme activity and stability so at at times it has been observed that when the enzyme is immobilized like this what will happen the enzyme has lost its activity or it has got reduced activity because of this kind of immobilization this is also seen so this is also counted as one of the disadvantages next thing is because you are immobilizing the enzyme like this and suppose this is the space under in which the enzyme has been immobilized so this is a very very small space right this space is very very small this is a micro environment which you cannot control easily so you have lost control or you lack of control or there is a lack of control for that uh, micro environmental condition so this is again one of the disadvantages now coming to the remedies or how can these problems be solved in case of diffusional limitations it is seen that this diffusional limitation is very less significant in micro capsules in gel beads you can see this kind of uh, diffusional limitation but in case of micro capsules micro encapsulation process this kind of limitation is not present because of the surface area is too much next if you are observing the uh, enzyme leakage property what you can do enzyme leakage uh, thing then what you can do is you can reduce the particle size okay once you reduce the particle size of the matrices or capsules this problem can be resolved if you reduce the size then the enzyme would not be going out you can entrap the enzyme again next if you see that the enzyme activity or stability is has reduced down now this is a big problem in order to maintain the enzyme activity or stability you will have to again alter the micro environmental conditions which i have already stated that it is not very easy to do so this can happen because of the unfavorable micro environmental conditions the reduced enzyme activity and stability how can you alter it or how can you uh, uh, address that problem so you can again as i said it is difficult to control you can use make use of different matrices and you can also attach chemical substances to it you can change the uh, processing and further you can reduce the size also so these are all the methods through which you can address the problem of reduced enzyme activity but as 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 i said this is not a very easy task to do okay so this was all about the uh, entrapment method one more quick uh, uh, thing important point to address is that uh, the gatby batches have been started the students who are in their btech or bsc it is a good opportunity to go for gatby examinations so gatby uh, courses has have started this is a 6 month course and you can easily do this course uh, by contacting us on 8299134528 so this is our contact number you can contact us and get in touch with us to know further about gatby examination however i have already made a video on this okay so thank you so much for joining in uh, stay connected with us for more such videos do not forget to subscribe the channel do not forget to like the video and do not forget to press the bell icon thank you so much and have a good day